X minus 1. Who is the nation orbit? From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions of time and space. These are the stories of the future, adventures in which you live in a million would-be years, a thousand maybe worlds. Spaceship. Electrical briefing. Captain. Ah, uh, Mr. Chucker. Mate, sir. Captain, stand by to release pickup rocket mate yes sir captain we have break orbit in eight hours have damage control pull the rods on number three pole check leakage mate yes sir captain try and have the locks cleared of all the unessential personnel when your pickup rocket comes back there's no point in making trouble mate i understand sir loud brief buzz mate pick up rocket away sir Captain, very well. Take over, Mr. Tucker. I will be in my quarters if I'm wa- if I'm wanted. Bridge. Captain, well now then, Mr. De- Danbury, make yourself comfortable. Danbury, why? Thank you, Captain. Captain, do you care to f- for a drink? Scotch in that bowl, bourbon in the other. Danbury, no, thank you. I can get can't get quite used to squirting liquid. A rubber bowl, if of oiling a bearing. Captain, well, you have to do, you, you have a double time pouring it from a bottle, and it's free, free fall. Well, how are you enjoying your trip? Danbury, it's very interesting. That's very nice of you to give me a lift. You know, it would have been eight months before another ship came along. Captain, oh, a lot more than that, with the main photo beam stationed out. Probably eight years. Danbury, Really? That long? I thought the whole run to Pluto was under 18 months. Captain, yes, it is. When the beam is running, you see, Mr. Danbury, we left Earth 27 days after the beam broadcast from the planet station. Pluto station broke. We've been in Sagebourn close to six years. Danbury, I suppose that's why you orbit around the planet, picking up the supplies or something, huh? Oh, no, no, this is standard pickup for the, uh, for the space beam service. We sent a rocket down to take off a man who's been the only inhabitant of this planet for only for a little over two years. Danbury, well, I expect he's glad to be glad to see you. Captain, well, that's there's no telling, Danbury. Well, I would know. I would, you know, that, Captain. After ten years of duty, Mr. Danbury, you might not know anything. Danbury, oh, psychiatric troubles? Captain, Solaris. It's from the Latin, solis alone. Danbury, is, is that much of a problem? Captain, only in space. Here, look. Wall slides open, Captain. Ah, oh, look through the port. Danbury, that seems empty, Captain. It is. It's empty for horizon. Sky, sunlight, ground. It's empty for time. It's empty of people. You can live in it too long without something happening. Danbury, I see. But surely people can be been alone. Before space flight, could it? Ah, yes, but they've been, or uh, they've been, but they've been on the same world with other people. That seems to have make the difference. You can take a hermit on Earth. You may seem to spend his life trying to escape civilization, but put him in a deserted, deserted world. He turns psycho, psychotic. Psychotic. Debris is there a cure. Can it? Oh, sure. Put him back with the people. At least about 40 people. It seems to be the critical number. See, I have 80, 48 in this ship. A compliment. I, sh- I could run her with about 18. But I ten- tried not, I'm tired, but I've tried to. I have a cycle on my hand six months before after start of blast off. Danbury, but then every one of these men on the beam station, they're all alone, aren't they? Captain, that's right. Danbury, well then, you must get it. They must get it, Captain, they do. It wasn't pay to leave more than 40 men on a space station. This and 40 is too dangerous, subtle to use. can be too homicidal. So you leave one man and it, get, it gets it. All right, you can snap him out of it by taking him back to Earth. That's why I like to have a few people as possible around. When the pickup ship comes back, it can be pretty unpleasant. Danbury, what are you, what are they like? How does it affect them? 
Telling well so far, I picked about up about twenty eight space station officers. I've seen twenty four different sets of symptoms. I wouldn't want the job of getting these guys out of their stations into the pickup rocket. Captain Buzz uh, sound buzz of intercom. It's captain, Captain here, mate. Pickup rocket signaling, sir. Captain, all right. Mister Trucker, prepare to receive the pickup. Alert the psychiatric staff, and I'll be right there. To Danbury. Oh, would you care to come with bring? See them bring him in, Mister Danbury. You're welcome. If you have a strong stomach, Danbury. I don't think I'd so. I oh, thank you, Captain. Mr. Chucko, as soon as the rocket is secured, take a directory to the next station. Mate, yes, sir. That's Pluto Station 3. Captain, carry on. Kick off switch, Captain. Ah, Pluto 3. That will be a honey of a job. You seen that lump of rock? He's been on that lump of rock all by himself. Close to six and a half years. Taking a clock. Audi. Pluto Station 3, daily report, calling all, calling all these space officer, everything in spine chase. No, my port, I see Mars, Earth, Saturn, Mercury. Oh, what that little devil, he's hiding behind the sun. He's quite fertile lately. Why am I required to record this report? Every day escapes me. Because I'm quite obvious, any empty-headed brass hat at the central office, there's not a world of this would be worth the tape it's been recorded on for the last five and a half years. But if it amuses you, gentlemen, hear me wonder. After all, you're paying for the tape. Ah, which gives me a following thought. I'm going to set the pickup through the whole station and leave the tape running and give you a daily report on all day. So keep on listening. Right now I have the distinct impression that Earth is winking at me, a rather suggestive, lurid wink. Una uh, helps to see the planets, doesn't it? Old. Oh, I thought you were reading. Una. I was. Oh, no. If you hadn't been able to see the planets, you would have been a straight case long ago. Old. Well, who knows? I'm not one now. I don't, you don't. Anyhow. You know, well, I think that you're so long as you talk sanely about madness, you can be, can't be as far gone. It's out there somewhere, isn't it? The rescue ship, oh, it's somewhere. You know, how long can now, Colin? How could they be, how, where could they be by now if they started whatever, a beam failed? Oh, they hasn't worked out since the last time you asked. But it could be very close. You know, the beam hasn't failed. You would have been here long ago, wouldn't they? Oh, well, sure. Eleven months for the, with the beam. Over six years about it. Well, anyway, the triple time six years pay adds up to quite a pile. You know, you'll be set up for life when you get back to Earth, won't you? Just at, and at 29, you would. I'll be rotting with money. You know, well... It'd be nice knowing you. Oh, that's because of the others, because that's because of the others before you. I learned a lot, you know. Never talk to the, never talk with the others. And above all, never talk to any others to come. Oh, I'm sorry, you know. Would you like to say you play chess? A long time since we did. Oh, I don't think so. Not anymore. A little tired of chess. You know, I oh, don't know how I understand. I, I, I know, I understand. I don't, but I don't bother. I'll go home. I, I'll, I'll go on my to my room, Colin. Oh uh, well, don't get upset. You know, I'm not. I understand. We're just tired of of chess. You know, you're still listening, gentlemen. The last few minutes might have been a little confusing. You'd like to know who I'm talking to, wouldn't you? I'm afraid you can't hear on the tape. That's you know. I'll tell you about what she looks like. She might find it you might find it interesting. She's beautiful but rather cool. She always wears a white shirt and sharp creased green slacks. She's got a good figure, but it's it's a cut in a calm sort of way. She plays a good chess a game of chess. I beat her t- two out of three times. Of course, you know why you can't hear her on the tape. 
But I still know, too, there's a point in my favour, isn't it? That brings up the interesting question, Berman, because I'm tired of that, you know. I'm beginning to find out a, a long, cool, slightly unpeeling bore. My problem is how to get rid of her. I can't just tell her to vanish. She's a little too real for that. I dressed up a ship to bring her. I dreamed up a ship to bring her. I have to find another one to get take away. Well, I might as well get to it. Oh, no, I'm not going to bother about the ship. It's too much mental effort. I have to think of up anything I saw. And gently, gentlemen, I am too tired. Maybe you should take the hint. A lot of them did. Susie did, and Alice. Ah, oh, remember, Maggie, there was a girl. A load of bricks had to fall out of her head. It took me four weeks to get rid of her. Now let you figure out her own way to get off the station. Taking the clock, old. Well, she's gone. I thought she might. The ship is gone too. Well, it's all is all. I don't think that Una was really very satisfactory. One of these days I'll stop believing in them. I'll be gonna I'll be really gone. Well, I'm active. If I activate the main screens now, click and switch. Oh, and I see a ship coming to land pretty soon. Once every once in a while I have a thought that when the ship really comes, I think it's make believe. You know, yes, there is a small there there is a small ship curving in for landing. I suppose I could check on the dictate on the di- detectors. I may I know they registers everyone anyone within a hundred thousand miles, but I don't won't bother checking them any more because someday a moment will come when I check the detectors and I see just what I want to see. Well the ship's coming in for the landing now. I'll go out to meet it. I'm rather interested to find out what the explanation would be for the girl. Naturally, it will be a girl. Oh, it'd be all right. You can take your helmet off. The air's all right in here. Elsa, you must be Baker. Oh, oh, good heavens. No, Baker was before. When we're here, you can't be. One of his dreams, seven years late. I'm old, Colin old. Elsa, before we go any further... Just how does this sort of affect you? Oh, well, that's new. Another man I've ever asked that before. It makes me see things that aren't there. Elsa, you know there's, no, there's nothing there? No, it's, mm, sometimes. Elsa, do you know I'm here? Oh, I'm making a point of not, not wondering about it. Elsa, well, on one thing you can be sure of. This, don't you see this? This is a gun. I want you to know I'm not a heaven's little gift to lonely space station officers. Is that clear? Oh, oh yes. Hells, what's your name? Elsa Clitterline. Clitterline. You want to know why I'm here, of course? Oh, not particularly. Elsa, what? Oh, well, that's always the weakest part of the story. I don't like to press it. Why don't you uh, take off your spacesuit? Elsa, I tell you why you... Why... I tell you what, why, just the same, I killed a man. Why now doesn't matter. I had access to my experimental ship. I thought disappeared about two years early. Every, oh, oh please don't labour over it. I'm not asking questions. I also, why not? No, well, when you around it, get around to it. It would be interested in the story you can conduct. But over being dressed like a cover of a magazine story. A rather minimal clothing. It's been years since I thought up anything like that. You must be a throwback. Oh, sir, what are you talking about? Oh, you know you're going to have a tough time with that gun. You get tired of holding it. It's a heavy gun. How long do you think it'll be before I take it from you? Oh, no. You have to sleep. There's no door in the station. You can lock. Look. That I can't get in. Oh, sir, I know. I just wanted to make sure you weren't violent. I think I could get on with you, old. Old, oh, oh yes, I see. The question is, my dear, were you real or not? Elsa, well, why do, don't I look real? Oh, oh yes. But that doesn't prove anything. As a matter of fact, the realer you look, the worse it off I might be. But in there still is the remote possibility you might actually have killed someone and decided to hide out. Space station. Shall I... Ha- Tell you something else, Elsa. Elsa, what? Oh, 
and suddenly tired of all the whole business, breeze there a man with the souls of the dead. I'm sure you know the rest of it. I would suddenly, I would suddenly feel like I have enough people around me, so that I could be the same. I'd like to find women as part of life instead of having them pop up here from the depths of my rather pornographic subconscious. Ah, I bet you've shaken me. Elsa, 24 hours ago, I was correcting myself that Solar Cruz hadn't given God of me, but now I don't know. Elsa, just don't try anything funny, or you'll find out whether I'm real the hard way. Oh, anyway, it, it's the hard way. First, I'll go out and you have a look at your ship. Oh, 14, pe- 14 pounds per square inch air heat. Now I'll take a crystalline lighter. There, the flame lights, but on the other hand, if there was no lighter, I'd see it. I could also see I burn when there isn't any air. As a matter of fact, how do I know that you, I can read a meter for the air pressure? And now I look again quickly. I find I haven't got a light in my hand. As a matter of fact, the pressure meter reads zero. There's no air on the best ship. As a matter of fact, there isn't any ship, Elsa. There's no more real than you, than El- you know. All right, Colin, old boy. Sit here and concentrate for about 15 minutes. You'll be able to walk through the walls of this ship. Elsa, well, well, what did you find out here? Oh, you better leave. It's a mistake you coming here. I'm sorry, Elsa. No, you didn't. Don't come any closer to me. Oh, put down the gun. Elsa, come, keep back. I'm warning you, keep back two gunshots. Oh, you see, it's no use. You know, you're a good shot. You got me right between the eyes, but I can't feel a thing. I can't let myself be shot now. Can I? Give me that, give that to me, there. Now remember, if you shoot me, nothing happens. But if I shoot you, you die. Do you know that? I say, yes, I know that. Oh, I'll give you about 20 minutes to get that other stuff figure back into the space suit. And get off the planet. Frankly, I'm getting tired of of hallucinations. Tired. Elsa, give me back my gun. Oh, no, no, I'll keep that. After a while, I'll put it in a drawer and stay there until I forget it. And there won't be any gun anymore. From now on, my overload fragment. There'll be no Elsa's, no sissies, no baggies. I'm not going to give it to solid, into solid rules. Maybe, maybe I'll bring Una back. At least she could play chess. And Ood. Pluto Station 3. David Holt. Colin Ood. Space Officer. Gentlemen, I've so seen full of solitudes for two days and I've been, I have been alone. However, I'm afraid I lose as I watch my main scope now. I see a ship coming in again. Ood. I wonder what this will be like. A launch from a larger ship? Maybe a lifeboat. Dorothy. Come in. Came in a lifeboat. I wonder what this one would be like. I've got to find out when she comes, whether she's real. That's the key. As long as I know she's real, I won't care anymore. That's when I, it's really got me. The ship's down here now. When she comes out of the airlock, I'll get to find out whether she's real. Marilyn, Colin Hood. Oh, that's right. Marilyn, I'm Dr. Lynn of the Four Star Lines. Marilyn Lynn. The, oh, very pretty. Are you going to tell me your story now, or do I have to wait? Marilyn, I'm not going to tell you anything till I've found out a little more about you. Oh, well, you're an improvement the last one. At least you're young and beautiful. You're not fantastic. You look intelligent. Marilyn, what do you mean? Oh, don't you worry about me. I see things that aren't there, particularly people. Marilyn, oh, so you don't believe I'm here? Oh, would you? If you were me? Marion, do you know I'm not I'm not here? Oh no, that comes with time, at least it always does, has so far. Marion, you mean you always prove to yourself that your visitors were were mere fantasies? Marion Oh, with a struggle. Marion Interesting control solidities. Never heard of it before. A pleasure to meet you, Mr Ode. Oh no, that doesn't make you real. They all say that. Marion, why should they I want to make you set me real.
Madam, why should I want to make you set me as real? Oh, I don't know, but they all do. Marilyn, when you know, you know, oh, why I can't say, maybe in five minutes, maybe not for hours. Marilyn, how do you do it? Why don't you shoot me to see if I die or anything like that? Do you? Oh, no, nothing like that. If I shoot you, you don't die. You do die like no bitch is a hospital. If she, they die if they were. They die if they wasn't. Marilyn, your mind may remained agile enough. Oh, naturally, I never heard of service and habit intelligence. Would you like some coffee? Marilyn, is that part of the test? Maybe your more coffee is actually drunk than you drink yourself? Oh, no, no, that doesn't help. It would be very easy for me to make half what I thought. Made to fill a non-existent cup with nothing and pass it back to a non-existent girl. You look afraid, Marilyn. Why should I be? Oh, what am I doing? Am I doing something I don't know I don't know I'm doing? Marilyn, no. Would you like me to wash the cups out for you? When we have done? Dude, that doesn't prove anything. Next time when they were used, I could imagine they were washed, couldn't I? Marilyn, where are you going? Oh, to find out if you're real. Marilyn, my ship, go ahead. Good luck. Oh, that she's afraid, She's what she's afraid about, something I said. None of the others were, were really afraid of me. I can't tell yet. Nothing's happened. The meters all read 15 pounds of square inch pressure. That's not a good. I can't tell if I'm reading them at all. Pounds fists and ships made a hole. Ood. Oh well, it's a wall, solid enough. My hands hurts. It doesn't prove anything. Supposing I open my faceplate, there's no ship, no air. Ood. All right, my face plate's open. I breathe the air. Then again, on the other hand, my face plate may still be closed. Maybe I only think it's open. I can't tell. I can't tell if she isn't real. It means that it really got on me. It gets everyone. I don't really know it's anything real. If, it were, if I'm real, this space station is real. A planet, the universe, the galaxy, maybe all life in my mind. I think, therefore, I am. Thus, I remember that. F- that. Yes, I remember that from the school. School. Oh, I'm so tired. I got to get back to the station. Very tired. Close my faceplate. If I ever open it, I get. Oh, get back to the station. Got the headache. Terrible headache. I'm very tired, Marilyn. Are you all right now? Here, drink this. Oh, groggy. Mm, what happened, Marilyn? You came in the station lot and passed out. Oh, how long have I been out? Man, about 24 hours. You're a very sick man, Mr. Hood. Hood, oh, they are. Reality. Very important thing, isn't it? It's the most important thing there is to learn. Man, yet merely to you. So that this naturally affects you. What matters most to the individual. Affects what matters most to the individual. We, didn't, we needn't talk about that. Lord, but I know now. You're not real, you can't be, even though I feel you are. Man, how did you decide that? Oh, I didn't, I couldn't prove you weren't. But uh, not on your ship, I see, I'm too far gone to figure out. HS at work, but if you were real, then you did get, how did you avoid Sadoris? Man, the only way there is, there are 48 men and women in the relief ship. I've been over around up your planet right now. I came down to pick up rocket. We are all, we are all well above the critical number of all peop- people. I keep a rationale of knowing that we are up there in the orbit. But as soon as I'm ready, I'll take you back up there. Oh, well, I suppose I can wait. I don't really care if you're real or not anymore. Marilyn, I know I'll take a long while before you care. Oh, do you have around? Sounds sad. What's the matter? Marilyn, it's the way you look at me. Oh, what do you mean? Man, what do you see when you look at me? Oh, well, you're strong, sort of quietly beautiful. At my age, you're wearing a tunic and then the slacks. You know I don't have a wedding ring. You don't have a wedding ring, I notice. Man, that's what I thought what you saw. I'm real, but you're not your picture of me. I'm a doctor, Dr. Miss Wood. 
All first contact with station officers are made by trained psychiatrists. I'm a doctor. I was a girl once. That was 40 years ago. I was 66. Oh, you can't be. Marion, oh yes, I was very nice to be a girl again. I could see myself in your eyes. I almost felt young again. As I grow old in the next few weeks, it's only me recovering that you will show you how your case is progressing. Will you see me as I really am? You'll be all right. Good. Assuming you're real, Marilyn, it really must be take something to come along to see if one of us. I think I see you now, as you really are. Mate, Captain? Captain, yes, Mr. Tucker. Mate, pick up rocket all secured from Pluto number three. Captain, Miss, mm, how is it that the poor fellow? Mate, good as he could be expected. Came on with Dr. Lynn. Captain, mm? mate, I'm telling you, these guys throw me. There he is, was holding her hand, looking in her eyes like she was in love with her. And you know what? The dried old bat she is. Captain, yes, I know, all right. Mr. Tucker, prepare to blast off. 